Maybe we should um, take a moment to play a game. <gasps> yeah, so I'm sure this game exists somewhere, but I kind of just made yeah, it Yeah, just kind of made this one up, which Ooh. I, I mean, I'm sure it exists somewhere. An it, improvised or, game? It's, what? It's not, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it's called This Just In, which basically one of us will be um, the anchor, one of us will be a reporter, and the other one will be an expert. And so the first, the, the anchor will make up a topic, um, a headline, this just in, such and such happened. Then uh, the reporter will say uh, a few lines elaborating, and then the expert will uh, give their two cents on the issue. Well, and I feel like before we start, like this is kind of in line what we were just talking about is like, this is giving a gift to the next person, right? So the headline is a gift to the next person who takes it and then creates that and gives more of a gift, you know, adds to it. Heightening. Heightening. Oh yeah, we can practice heightening. I mean, that's a natural progression, right? Yeah, good call. Candle See, kitchen. That's why we burn. have the professionals on. <laughs> okay. Who? <laughs> this just yes, in. You, Mike. <laughs> this just in. All of the couches in Manhattan have turned into evil robots. Uh, we're going to swing over to Katie, who has more on this story. Yes. Hi. I am here with the evil robot couch approaching. Oh my God. And, um, you know, I just need some knowledge on how to handle this robot, rogue robot. Um, I'm going to throw it to our expert, Mike Brown. Help me out, Mike Brown. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm coming to you uh, live from Atlanta because I uh, was uh, warned of this danger. Uh, so I wanted to remove myself from the situation immediately. What I noticed is that in our studies between couches that are uh, not your normal couch, but some of you may call them futons, uh, futons come with sentient knowledge that actually allows them to come alive and harm other people. Now, anytime someone sleeps on a futon, ah, 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 it's happening in Atlanta. It's happening in Atlanta. I have to go. All right. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was Mike Brown. Um, it looks like uh, the futon in the boss's office has just come alive and uh, has bought donuts for everybody. All right, that was a good one. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh man, we are so good at improv, you guys. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Well, um, <laughs> should we should we do another scene, or do you want to move back into solo improv? How much time? This just have? in. Every light bulb in the world now glows green. For more on this story is our very own uh, Jessica Wicks Kelly coming to all the way from Springfield, Massachusetts, not Missouri, Massachusetts. Jessica. Thank you, Mike. I am coming here from Massachusetts, which looks like Missouri, where all of the lights are green and therefore everybody looks like a spaghetti monster. Uh, the children are all afraid and um, have started biting uh, all of their parents. So when someone bites uh, their parents, uh, when the lights are green, uh, the parents get very, very mad and um, start quitting their jobs, which has affected the economy. Um, for more on, our, uh, on this, our economic expert, Katie Welsh. Yes, hello. Well, the stock market is way down when it comes to regular light bulbs, but um, you know, the green light bulbs are up there. Uh, also band-aids for all those bites um, are also quite high on the stock market. So, uh, you know, go out there and stock up on your band-aids um, and uh, 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 now, Jessica, if I can jump in here for a second, I've just been handed a brand new report saying that in 1964, uh, our very own uh, Theodore Geisel, also known as Dr. Seuss, uh, experienced the same exact phenomenon in his own living room. Uh, uh, do you know anything about this or is there a correlation between green lights, anything green related and Dr. Seuss? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the reason that uh, uh, 
uh, Dr. Seuss, uh, who I personally know and call Teddy, um, the, the reason that he became famous is because uh, he got bitten by a uh, rhyming monster uh, who was very mad at their child. Uh, back in those days. And he just started writing and rhyming all over the place. And, and that is how he became the Dr. Seuss that we know today. So maybe, uh, you know, people are thinking of this whole thing as a negative, uh, but perhaps uh, it's a positive. What, what, now, I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm told that you have an expert on speed dial who is a Theodore Geisel expert. Uh, is there any more insight that we could get into this uh, uh, Dr. Seuss green phenomenon? Uh, yes, green eggs and ham, I am. That's right, my name is Sam. And... Scene. I yeah, <laughs> terrible at rhyming. <laughs> Thank you for editing that. And scene. scene. Yeah. <laughs>